Good morning and welcome to Free Flow Friday, our lovely Friday rituals that we love sharing with you guys. It's always fun setting up and we wish you guys could see the whole <laughs> process that goes down yeah. each Friday. Um, we so, almost have it down by now. Yeah, we've only been doing this since February. Wow. Lots of Free Flow Fridays and as Alexis mentioned last time, if ever you're like, hmm, I wonder what next Friday's topic is going to be. We're going alphabetically through the book of the symptoms in the art of Jinshin. Yeah. So that's why. That's the book. This week we are already on hiccups. Yeah. And um, as you see from the title, you maybe didn't think hiccups and heart attacks could be related, but Alexis is going to share a flow with us and show like how it can help both both sides it's going to be a powerful flow and the picture that i posted of gilar and cole they were sitting and they were holding the first step of the diaphragm flow naturally and so the diaphragm flow is really the one to help hiccups and i will also explain to you mm. why it helps the heart so for now, let's just, while I'm talking, we'll just open up our waistline first because hiccups is really a spasm of the diaphragm. And so by opening up the waistline, by holding SEL 19, you are helping the diaphragm. The diaphragm is a big muscle, it's located right here. And it's very responsible for our breathing. Mm. And it's a very interesting flow. It's an ascending flow. Hmm. And it has a descending function, remember? Oh, yes. Just hearing <laughs> that, even just thinking of the diaphragm, and, you know. It's an ascending flow because the energy moves. The anatomical Eastern uh, position is like this. Hmm. So the energy moves up. So it's ascending. It moves to the middle finger and the ring finger where it becomes the umbilicus flow. Uh, it's an ascending flow, but the diaphragm is here. It's right uh, I would say at the waist and it has a descending function. So it helps the energy to move down. So that is one of the reasons oh. why it helps the heart. Oh. Another and very hiccups. important one. And hiccups. It Would helps hiccups. Right, right, right. It helps, it helps hiccups because uh, hiccups are, like I said, a spasm of the diaphragm. So opening up the 19s, the waistline and we're going to practice a diaphragm flow together we don't use the diaphragm flow so often but it is a really powerful and wonderful flow and as we're doing it i'm going to read you some of the notes that go with it hi men manuela from north of germany hi guten morgen <laughs> lakshmi good morning yeah you good can morning, tell us everybody. where you're watching from we always love knowing who's joining us yeah. so yeah where can people find the diaphragm so flow? it's very interesting because the diaphragm flow is of course in the art of jinshan and so for self-help mm. philomena and i figured out how to best uh, practice it most effectively because when you look at the core uh, the core the textbook <laughs> um it's very hard to do this on yourself. This is really how to practice it mm -hmm. on other people. And so right. we're going to use uh, we're going to use the the art of Jinshan today to practice it on ourselves. And I'm going to read your notes from the core with it. So I love it. Just keep we've holding a, your 19. We got we've got a whole collection <laughs> of Alexis Brink books. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, so let's go. So, hi from Holland. Hi, Cynthia. Hi, Cynthia. Hi, Jennifer. Good morning. Goedemorgen allemaal. <laughs> so great and cool to see everybody from all over the world. I mean, uh, what we can do with social media. I and know. Just as this time of quarantine where everybody, the whole world just got connected in this yeah. way. It's just amazing, wonderful. Anyway, so the first step of the diaphragm flow in the self-help book is holding your 19s. And that is to begin opening up this waistline. So let's get into the breath. And this uh, automatically will release this diaphragm muscle. So in that way, it helps uh, breathing. And 
energy it helps descending energy it helps to bring the energy down now why the diaphragm flow helps the heart is because the flow actually begins in the chest area and then moves into the heart so just the energetic pathway moves into the heart while very often um the, the, you know, when people have heart projects, we don't often do the heart flow. We usually look ah. at diaphragm flow, kidney mm. flow, mm. which flow is burdening the organ, the heart. So, yeah, there's not, I guess, that much to say about hiccups. So I talk more about other things. Um, yeah, but hiccups... Just, to, just remind me to give you one more quickie for hiccups later after we practice this. I'll remind you. Hi, Floris from middle of Germany. Hi, good to Morgan. Good to Morgan. <laughs> All right, and so then we're gonna move our right hand to the base of the ribs. So for some of you, you're seeing this in a mirror image, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, and you can follow along either exactly or um, to the opposite side. Mm -hmm. So this flow is a depth six flow, which means that uh, energetically the higher frequency is source, big source energy and the densest part is the spine mm. as well as the diaphragm and umbilicus wow. and flow yeah so this is pretty dense part uh, the quickie is of course the palm of the hand and we'll see later why okay. so this is the way these two young adults were sitting yesterday cole and um gilar they were sitting like this holding the first step of the diaphragm flow but again in the self-help book we're starting with opening up the waistline like this Oh, time. Uh, the time is 8 till 10 p.m. So that is when the diaphragm flow takes the lead. It's peaking at that time. So if you have uh, any signs speaking to you at that hour, that tells you something about the diaphragm flow. So is it good to do this flow at the, like, let's say you have something consistently come up around 9 p.m.? Is it beneficial to you may want well. to do it before before <clears throat> because you want to give it the energy so that it can take the lead mm. and really do its function at that time does that make sense yes <clears throat> okay good and then we're going to move our what the hand from the elbow we're going to put it on the 25 sel 25 so you're now holding 14 and 25 so again, it's an ascending flow and it helps to descending. And that's so interesting about the counterpart of the diaphragm flow, which is umbilicus, which mm. is a descending flow with an ascending function. So yeah, Maria and I talk about that in the core, in the webinar. So I don't want to overwhelm you right yeah. now, but if you are ready for a deeper understanding, then we talk about all of that in the webinar. So. Yeah, and you'll see also in the core, if you have it, that there's a little chart at the top that will explain it. So I know with this, it says flow direction, ascending helps descending, um, just in case that's good, because I know for me that was confusing at first. <laughs> the attitude, it helps all the depths. It is all inclusive because depth six is all inclusive. It's all where all the energies come together and get nurtured. And remember, even if the diaphragm and umbilicus are the densest parts, we are a microcosm of the macrocosm. So it goes again like this accordion in and out, mm. in and out from six depth source energy to the little source, um, being the uh, umbilicus and diaphragm flow. Mm. The to help to, a quickie for the diaphragm flow we call it the finger facilitator is the palm of the hand because again it moves the energy pathway moves through the palm and the element is fire the season again is all inclusive so just understand that depth six is all inclusive so for the musical note for the day for all of it so Hmm. This is really a good flow to practice at any time and for anything. It also gives energy to the system, depth six. Um, the, uh, on a main center source level, we can hold our thumb. 
and on an SEL level, it's 19, which we already opened up. Yes. So we're now going to move our hand from the from the 14. We're going to move it to SEL five. So you're holding one side of your SEL 25, and then the other uh, on on your foot. It's right below the ankle bone. <clears throat> You, you want to lift it? You're more stretchable. And now I'm like <laughs> balancing on this ball. Oh, yes. like. <laughs> SEL5 helps Here. to regenerate the body. Got you guys. I would hold it for her, but I, <laughs> <laughs> it's right here. SEL5. Ankle bone is here. So it's right below. Very good, Lola. Woo! <laughs> Core strength. Okay, so we're holding uh, 25 and 5, which of course is powerful to regenerate the body. On a 12 organ function level, uh, uh, we can hold the palm. So all of the, you don't have to memorize all of these, but you can see how all these holds work on different levels all at the same time. So depending on which level you want to work, and this is just fun to continue your studies, all the information is in the book, you can choose what to hold. Yeah, and just make sure you're comfortable doing this. Yeah, not, like like you. not like me, I'm like trying to balance <laughs> on this ball. You can be laying down and like in a lounge chair. Um, yeah, or on the couch or in your bed. Just yeah. make yourself comfortable, that's very important. Yeah. I'm comfortable like this, so that's just fine. And then we're gonna make a, a palm, like put our fingers right in the palm, so you're getting right into that depth six. You have to come a little closer. I don't the picture. <laughs> we want Lola in <laughs> all the way. <laughs> there. So Carol asks, what is best for babies with hiccups? So the 19s, holding SEL's 19, and then I'm gonna show you another quickie, remind me. Yes. Yeah. That's on my list. Yeah. Uh, on the depth special level, we hold, we can hold SEL four. So you see there's so many ways to access this depth six and help the diaphragm flow. And then we're gonna hold our ring finger. So we're holding mm. from the palm, we're gonna hold the opposite ring finger. And if you want, if you see the flow pattern, you see that it flows into the middle finger and into the ring finger where it becomes the umbilicus in the ring finger. So hmm. uh, I just wanted to read to you when this flow is in excess. So when um, there's too much energy going into it, we need to almost bring it back. Like when the pulses are very, very loud, it could be in excess. Okay. So what can happen then is the following symptoms may occur, inner elbow and underarm swelling. So if you have that, then look at the diaphragm flow. Again, this is because the flow pattern moved through the elbow and right. down like this. Um, it helps, uh, the eyes can become slanted. And so that's very slight. And sometimes I wonder, I look at my cell phone's videos and I think like, Oh, I like <laughs> they were actually becoming a little slanted. Like you, huh. yeah, yeah. Hmm. So you, I think it was Japanese access. in a past oh, life. <laughs> I know, I did ask too. If I'm yeah, so patient. if you see that, that's diaphragm also. Um, when the face is red and flushed, and heart pulsation. So when the heart is really palpating, this flow may be in need. And so that can be indicative, of course, of a heart attack. We know that when your face is getting flushed, when we have heart palpitations. Right. So, so uh, then use this flow. Uh, when the palms are hot, clammy, very thirsty, and also helpful for varicose veins. Oh. Yeah. So these are all symptoms that you can look for and then this diaphragm flow will be very helpful. So, hmm. yeah, so for a baby with hiccups, you can hold the 19s, SEL 19, and you can also, another quickie that I wanted to show you is to go right here, very lateral on the, between the 12 and the four and go very lateral, meaning closer to the front and then mm. hold that. So that's very, then on babies Ooh, you want to be nice. very, very gentle. Yeah. And that will stop hiccups as well. 
And so we, that's, yeah, that's it for me. And before you go into the quickie, or was that? Did, this is that it. Is yeah, it. this is it. The last step of the diaphragm flow is the ring finger. So this is an extra that's little quickie. That's extra quickie. Yeah. Um, we had Lakshmi as, and I don't know if we would do this now, but um, holds for borderline cholesterol and tried all right so yeah we'll do that another time okay the flow that i did on uh, wednesday uh, is very good for that so you mm. can look at the house of jinshin on wednesday and yeah and please if 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 you all have like specific requests like that that's definitely what house of jinshin is best for because you know you sort of like think about it um days leading up and it's not on the same pattern as our free flow Friday. I'm just holding my 11th now just to end because um, just wanted to tell you about tomorrow, right? I have some yeah. fun. Yeah. Tomorrow. We are in here. I know. I know. I know. I know. Here I am. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, wait, hold your 11th, then the 12th, and then the 4th while Lola's telling you about tomorrow. So, tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern, Alexis is going to be featured um, part of a Shiatsu community. Is, is um, bringing Alexis on to do a workshop on the art of Jinshin and you know, we love doing that when there's this like merging of two different modalities, which of course have their threads of similarity. And um, we have the the links so that you can join for free, so you won't have to pay. And because other um, people have to pay, right? Other people have to pay. But our <laughs> so, community is special. Yeah. <laughs> and um, you'll get to learn more about them. Five lights. Center. Yeah, you'll put you'll put it in the yeah, comments, I'll, right? Yeah, I'll share. And please share with friends also or family if you want to introduce Jinshin because this will be very basic, uh, basic self help and just right. really explaining the philosophy and the history and all of that. So. Right, and sometimes it's really nice like joining in real time and there will be Q and A at the end, so you get to ask Alexis all the questions. So yeah, please join us for that. Mm -hmm. um, Hi from Germany. Got a lot of Germans joining us. We love it. I love that. Cool. Yeah, so I'll share the link and um, I guess that's all we have. Still lots of exciting things in the works and we'll be back on next Friday. So see you all then. Hi, Jessica. That's my family. <laughs> we love, love that. We love, we love you all. Thank you, Lola. Yeah, of course. See you all next Friday. See you all next week. Bye.